I think this is officially going to be my biggest thrift haul of all time. Hi guys, my name is Alicia and if you don't know who I am, I make thrifting videos every single week. And today I have a very exciting unboxing video. Today we're going to be unboxing this giant box of vintage clothing that I ordered from Fleek. If you guys have never heard of Fleek before, they're basically a vintage online wholesaler who connects sellers like myself to wholesalers. They have a huge variety of wholesalers from all over the world, so it's super easy to find wholesalers who really align with your style and are selling items in bulk that are gonna fit really well for your shop. On Fleek, you're able to shop pre-made, wholesale bundles, or you're even able to schedule an online video handpicking meeting, which is exactly the opportunity that I got to do. So a couple weeks back now, I actually got to hop on a call with Ryan from Thrift Vintage Wholesale in the UK, where he basically showed me like a huge variety of vintage items that I got to choose from. Right, yeah, that's Cottage Ball all in there. So there's loads and okay. loads and loads of sweatshirts. Wherever you want to start, really, I'm, I'm not, I don't mind. Okay, let's start with the sweaters because I feel like that's what I'm like most excited about and those are the things that are selling well for me right now. So I'll just flip through and basically you just say yes or no okay. and then I'll build you a yes pile. Um, I'll say no to that one. Okay, I love teddy bears. Can I see a close-up of that one? Okay, we'll put that in the yes pile for now. <laughs> the process was so simple and honestly so much fun. Like, it literally felt like I was thrifting from home, except every single piece he was showing me was really good. It was honestly really hard to choose, which is exactly what is in this box today. And because it's been so long, I actually kind of forget what I picked out. So this is kind of gonna be a surprise for me too. And I think wholesale is honestly really just the next step for resellers to take their business to the next level because I actually talked about this really recently in my last what sold video, but basically I feel like I'm starting to hit a ceiling of how many items I can pick myself when I go out thrifting. Like there's only so many items I can find as one person. And it's really making me hit a ceiling in my business where I can't really grow any further because I simply do not have enough items to sell. So that is why Fleek is such a great option to really bulk up your inventory and scale your business even further. And to be honest, the prices on there are extremely reasonable. There was this one Canadian wholesaler I came across the other day who was selling a whole bundle of vintage tees for I think it was like $7 per t-shirt, including shipping. So at that point, that is honestly cheaper than most of the t-shirts at Value Village. But without further ado, let's get to unboxing this. Fleek did gift me. It should be 38 different items in here. So this is gonna be quite a big haul. So let's just get into it. And stick around to the end because I am going to be sharing my promo code to give you guys a discount if you want to check out Fleek for yourself. Okay, this thing was pretty heavy, 18 kilograms, so let's just dive in. Okay, so I just opened it, but I want to give you guys a little sneak peek. This is like so hard to even show, but like, ah, I'm so excited. Okay, we've got some denim here. We got some dresses. We got some sweaters, which I'm super excited about. This is one of the reasons why I chose the wholesaler I did because I really love their selection of cottage core sweaters. So we're going to be in for a treat. I really don't know what to start with. Like my brain is saying denim, but then the dresses are right on top. I don't know. Should I even go in order? I don't know. Okay, you know what? Let's start with denim because I don't don't think there is as much. But the first pair that I'm pulling out here are just a classic pair of light wash wranglers, a staple for any vintage shop, I feel like. We got a little bit of wear there on the knee and they're made in USA. So these are actually authentically vintage, super cool. I realized I have to go a little quicker. Like I can't go so in depth like I normally do because this video will be like two hours long. But next up, we got another pair of vintage Wranglers. These ones in a little bit of a lighter wash, which I really like. Straight leg once again, super nice. Okay, another pair of vintage jeans. These are really cool, very unique. Just like a great vintage silhouette. He definitely did warn me about like the peeling on here. So like, don't worry guys, like they're gonna let you know if there's any flaws, but I was totally okay with that. I think just the jeans in general are cool enough. Another pair of jeans. These ones are really cool. Got like a unique stitching. Otherwise pretty simple throughout. Another pair of vintage, gotta love, you know, that leather tag there. And then the front is super unique too with that seam detail, love it. These vintage jeans, very cool too. Like look at the patch. You guys know I'm a sucker for patches. Love this wash of denim. And what's really cool about sourcing internationally is that I feel like I'm getting brands that I would never find here, which is pretty cool. Oh my God, I just noticed like 
on the leg too. We got a fun little seam detail there too. Another pair of vintage jeans with a little patch detail. This pair, super cool. Love the wash. Oh, I just remembered why I don't film videos on the floor anymore. My back is literally already hurting and we haven't even made it through the jeans yet, but this pair, really nice. Look at that button fly, love a good button fly. These ones are really nice, really unique like color. They're almost like a really, really light green. Look at the tag here, so good. Okay, that might be all the jeans. So I think let's move on to the sweaters because I feel like that's what I was most excited about and it is like sweater season. So I definitely kept that in mind. And there's a lot. <laughs> I think sweaters was like the most quantity of items I ordered. Okay, first one. How adorable is this? It's just got like a cute little cat graphic. Freaking love like a contrast collar. So cute. And all the tags too are super unique, truly vintage. That's adorable. Okay, we got some teddy bears. You guys know I'm a sucker for anything with teddy bears. This one is super cute too. Oh, look at the graphic. What does it say? My grandkids are the apple of my eye. That is so cute. Yeah, I remember there was like a lot of grandma sweaters to choose from. So I definitely picked a few of those. This cottage core sweater with this adorable cat graphic on it and the contrasting black collar. Love that. That's actually so adorable. Okay, how cute is this one for the winter? Made in USA. Like I swear, most of the things in here are actually made in USA. Okay, I had to darken it a bit so you guys could see, but like, so cute with the bunny in the snow. That was precious. Okay, this one's so cute. The graphic is peeling quite badly on it, but it's like a little puppy on a fence. So cute. And like, there's little mice at the bottom. That is so adorable. I remember why I really like this one is because of the checkered collar. I just thought that was super unique. And another made in USA. Like, these are authentically vintage. Yes, I definitely remember this one too. Just this super cute fall graphic on it. Okay, this color is really pretty. Oh yeah, I really like this one because it had butterflies on it, which is like pretty in style right now. Another really cute one with a little kitten graphic on it. And like, are you kidding me? Like, that is so cute. This one, super, super cute. Once again, like I think when I saw this like embroidery detail on the collar, I had to get it. Okay, here's another one of the grandma ones. I feel like it's just really ironic wearing a sweater that says grandma on it when you're clearly not. But like, look how cute that is. What does it say? Extra special grandma and like ugh, so nicely embroidered. Got that contrast collar again. Love this color. This one, super, super cute. Okay, we got a little Christmassy one. Christmas is coming sooner than we think, I feel like. And look how cute these little penguins are. Ooh, this one's really pretty. Just got this really nice like embroidered detail on it. Flowers, really unique pattern. Once again, that contrast collar, so good. Okay, this might be the last, I think this is the last sweater in here which is this really cute little cat graphic one. I really like how the cat's faces like are kind of like blended in with the sweater, super unique. Okay, next up, I think we're gonna go through the jackets. There's just a couple of them, but wow. Okay, what is this one? This is really unique. Oh yeah, I remember this. So this is like this really nice, almost like needlepoint knit, kind of like blazer jacket. I don't know. It's just really, really unique. Look at those buttons. So cool, but I remember this is the reason I got it. Look how precious the back is. Like we got this like cute little farmhouse. Next up, we have this really cool surf and style windbreaker. I feel like I see these a lot on Depop, but I've never actually personally found one myself. So definitely had to add that to the bundle. Super cool. This is so adorable. It's just like this zip up little almost suede feeling jacket. Love the pastels. And then look how nice that embroidery is. Super cool. Next up, we got another windbreaker. Super, super funky. Love this print and like the color is crazy. Super cool tag, of course. This jacket, I really like the color. And then lastly for jackets, well, this isn't really a jacket. This is actually a vest, but super, super unique. Look at all the fun colors and like different prints. Vests have been like super in style lately. So I was like, yeah, why not? <laughs> and then I think lastly, we have some dresses in here. I'm very excited because I feel like these are the most unique pieces, you know, like the cottage core sweaters, the jeans, like super cool, but like they all kind of have a very similar vibe, but I feel like these ones are all like pretty unique. Okay, this one 
is so gorgeous. I might end up keeping this one for myself, but it's this really pretty blue floral slash plaid print dress, short sleeves, probably gonna be either a midi or maxi length. But oh my goodness, do you see this like lace up detail on the front? That is so, so pretty. Along with the tie in the back, which you guys know, that's just how you know it's gonna be able to fit you perfectly and look very flattering. Wow, this is beautiful. Next up, I really love this print. Oh, this is super cute. Definitely more of a summer piece, but it's basically like this red floral halter top, mini dress, super pretty. Look how flowy that is. Yeah, that's gorgeous. This dress, Pretty simple, but I love this like darker green color. It's kind of like a lightweight, almost like utility style dress. I think that's gonna be really cool. We got buttons down the front and it looks like it used to come with a belt, but that has since gone missing, but still really cool. Okay, this print is really fun. Okay, super pretty. We got some neutral tones going on here. We got some like floral print, yellow green kind of colors. Definitely gonna be really cute. Okay, this dress is like super unique. Oh my God, it says it's 100% silk. Good quality alert. Wow, this is fun. Okay, so it's we got this like spaghetti strap dress with like ruching on the whole top upper part. And then look how fun and flowy the skirt is. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but like it's just full of ruffles. Then we got this. I remember this one, this adorable little vintage sunflower summer dress. I love the silhouette of this one. I think this is gonna be a more of a mini length. Super pretty, all vintage tags. Oh yeah, this one's really cool. Another mini, this looks quite short. <laughs> it might be way too short for me, but. We got the back ties once again and this really beautiful like celestial print. I think that's why it stood out to me. We got like the sun and different kind of like patterns on there. Yeah, super cute. A lot of these are definitely summer dresses, so that's gonna be great. I'm gonna have a lot of summer stock prepared for next summer. Okay, this is this cute little basic sporty vintage kappa dress really basic but i really like the color thought it'd be a really cute sporty look and then on the back oh yeah you can see it there it actually has some lettering on it that says robe de kappa so very unique all right guys the box is now completely empty so that concludes my entire fleek unboxing i am super impressed with this whole experience and just like how easy it was and how great Ryan was able to kind of like pick out pieces that really fit my style. I definitely have a whole lot more of inventory, which honestly is going to be so great, especially because I have a couple markets planned that are coming up. So it's just gonna be so nice to just have extra stuff that I can, you know, replace my racks with. You can really never have too much inventory. So thank you so much to Fleek for collaborating with me on this video and gifting me these pieces. If you guys wanna check out Fleek for yourself, you can definitely do so with the link in my description and you can actually get 10% off using my code Alicia10. Like I said, there are tons of different wholesalers to choose from with different price ranges, but I will also leave Ryan's shop link below as well if these pieces in particular really stood out to you guys and aligned with your shops and style. So let me know what you guys thought about this haul, what was your favorite piece, and if you're interested in giving Fleek a try as well, let me know your thoughts in the comments. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.